Hello, 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 America! So I would like to talk to you today about racism and other completely useless terms. Because, really, America, do you really think the problem in the United States is that all the races are being equally racist against each other? Is that what we're really talking about? Or uh, maybe you want to say the problem is white privilege. Trigger alert! Yeah, people freak out if you say white privilege. They're all like, there's no such thing as white privilege because I earned every single thing I've had in my entire life and I'm not a bajillion gazillionaire, so there's no way I can ever have white privilege. And you know what, America? You're right. I'm using that word wrong. We are using that word wrong because we're not talking about privileges. Not being harassed is not a privilege. It's just the bare minimum. It's just a human right, right? What we're talking about is white supremacy. And if you think folks is catching feelings when you say white privilege, woo, I can tell you from experience, if you post on Facebook that you are a white supremacist, unless you are actively fighting white supremacy, you will get a bunch of reactions. Emotional reactions. People upset because they think you've called them a bad thing. And I mean, I think it's good that they recognize that white supremacy is a bad thing. And other, you know, other people, people of color going, oh my gosh, there's no way I could ever be a white supremacist. But here's the thing, babies, America, if you live in um, the world every day, even if you're somebody like me, with your fist up in the air, you are involved in something that is actively oppressing people of color and also probably women because that's how the world works. You are using some product, um, you are uh, enjoying some piece of entertainment, you belong to some organization that is oppressing people of color and also probably women. Which is crazy, right? That people defend these systems so hard. Because they really do. They get upset. They're like, why are you trying to ruin everything? Why do you want to fight things? And you're like, no, I just want to have a system that isn't actively oppressing me and people like me. That would be nice, right? Um, here's the weird thing about white supremacy. White supremacy is obviously bad for people of color. I mean, there are a few people of color who have figured out how to make white supremacy work for them. Clarence Thomas! But for the most part, it means you are going to have a lower life expectancy. Um, you are going to be um, oppressed and uh, jailed more and be poorer and have less representation. Whatever, right? It's bad. But white supremacy is bad for most white people, too. What white supremacy does is it lowers the threshold of what's acceptable for everyone. And honestly, America... Do you want to live in a world where everyone gets oppressed? And if you're lucky, if you're privileged, you don't get oppressed. That sounds crazy to me. So let's start talking about racism. Let's stop using soft terms. Let's stop trying to pretend that there are two sides to this conversation, to this relationship, to this problem. We are talking about white supremacy. And you know what else is a really useless term? Sexism. Come on. The problem in the United States is not all of the sexes being equally oppressive to each other. We're talking about male supremacy. And I know you don't want to define yourself by the thing you are not. Also, I've heard... I'm not anti-man, I'm pro-woman, which of course is a false construct. Feminism isn't anti-man. Male supremacy is anti-woman, so I can see why you'd think it's opposite would do that, but feminism is just pro-woman, that's all it is. But it's not super useful either, because, well think of it this way. Uh, let's say the United States is a glass of water. Healthy United States, right? But there's a hole in the bottom, and that hole is male supremacy. And so you can pour in as much feminism, like, oh, you get to vote! But you get less representation in the government, and oh, you get to work! But you also get sexually harassed. You know, you can pour as much feminism into this as you want, but if you don't stop male supremacy, it's going to be really hard to make any kind of lasting progress. I'm just saying, America, we need to use words that are useful because <coughs> I am not an activist. 
And I don't find this word useful either. And I know, America, you think you are giving me a compliment. You're like, oh my God, Claudia, I'm just so impressed with your activism. I'm like, no, babies. If I call the fire department because my apartment is burning down, that doesn't make me a firefighter. That just makes me somebody who recognizes I'm in a situation that's endangering my life and the lives of others. No justice, no peace. That is not a threat. That is an equation. Healthy systems cannot be built on exploiting others. Healthy communities cannot be built on making sure only this section of people get the things they need. And these people do not get what they need because that literally is making sure that this entire part of your society is unhealthy. No justice, no peace is just what happens. So you have to have justice. And me making this video, me posting a picture on Facebook, that doesn't make me an activist. That just makes me somebody who's recognizing that we are in a situation that is endangering the lives of myself and others. And we need to do something about it. And I figure the first thing we can do about it is talk about it, using words that actually mean what they mean. So America, use words that mean what they mean and stop using completely useless terms.